Sertraline aka Zoloft is a medication commonly prescribed to manage mental health conditions including depression and anxiety disorders. These medications are effective in controlling your symptoms providing you use them correctly. So you'll need to know how and when you should take your sertraline, how long does it take for the medication to work, how long will you need to take your medication for and are there any side effects. Today we'll be answering the most frequent questions about your medication. My name is Dr. Hart Pinto and at JHP Medical we make weekly information videos. If you like what you see here, why not subscribe and share this channel with your friends and family. What is sertraline? Sertraline, sometimes prescribed under the commercial name of Zoloft, belongs to a group of medications called Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors (SSRIs). They work by increasing the levels of serotonin available within your brain. SSRIs are licensed to treat a host of mental health conditions including depression and anxiety disorders such as OCD, panic disorder and PTSD. Sertraline is only available on prescription from your doctor and this medication can be used in adults and children from the age of 6. However, use in children is limited to the management of OCD. Who shouldn't take sertraline? It's best to speak to your doctor if you have any of the following conditions. You've had a previous allergic reaction to this type of medication. You're pregnant or attempting to get pregnant or are breastfeeding. Epileptic, as sertraline can increase the likelihood of having a seizure. Suffer from a heart condition, as sertraline can cause your heart to beat faster. Suffer from glaucoma. Here, sertraline can increase the pressure within your eye, potentially making your glaucoma worse. Additionally, amongst diabetic patients, sertraline can make blood sugars more difficult to control. You may therefore need closer monitoring and adjustments made to your existing medications. Is it safe to take sertraline with my current medications? Sertraline can interact with your other medications, potentially leading to undesired effects. The two medications that we want to look out for are heart medications, because sertraline can increase the rate of your heart, and other medications for depression, including the herbal remedy St. John's Wort. In combination, these medications can lead to a condition called serotonin syndrome. In its worst form, serotonin syndrome can lead to death if not correctly identified and treated. A recent safety update for SSRI antidepressants has highlighted that these medications can increase the risk of bleeding. Therefore, sertraline should be used in cautions with patients taking blood thinning medications, those with blood clotting disorders, and pregnant ladies close to delivery due to the risk of bleeding after labor. What is the correct dose of sertraline? The usual starting dose for most adults is 50 milligrams taken once a day. However, smaller doses are used in children and adults with coexisting liver conditions. Usually, your doctor will review your progress and consider titrating up your medication to achieve the desired effects. The maximum licensed dose for sertraline is 200 mg. How long does sertraline take to work? It can take about 1-2 to two weeks before you start to notice an improvement with your symptoms, with sertraline taking 4-6 to six weeks to reach its maximum effect. Some people will feel slightly worse when initiating the medication, persevere and you should start to see the benefits. Please do not stop your medication without consulting your doctor. How to take sertraline? Take your sertraline once in the morning. This medication can be taken with or without food. Whilst you can take this medication at any time of the day, many find it best to stick to a morning routine, as taking it late at night may affect your sleep. Most importantly, make sure you take it at the same time every day. Are there any foods that I need to avoid? It's best to avoid grapefruit and grapefruit juices when taking sertraline. Grapefruit can inhibit your body's natural ability to break down your medication, which may result in high levels of sertraline staying in your body for longer. Can I drink alcohol with this medication? It's safe to take alcohol with sertraline, but it can make you feel drowsy. Recreational drug use, of course, is not advised. I've missed my dose, what should I do? If you forget to take a single dose of sertraline, don't worry. Skip the missed dose, but remember to take your next dose at the regular time. Don't double dose to make up for a missed one. I've accidentally taken too much medication. If you've taken too much of this medication, you should speak to an emergency doctor. Overdose of sertraline can cause symptoms of nausea and vomiting, drowsiness, dizziness, shaking or a fast heart rate, and in more severe cases can lead to a loss of consciousness and even seizures. How long will I need to take my medication? 
it's usually recommended to take sertraline for at least six months after your symptoms have improved. Symptoms may return when you stop your medication. It is important to speak with your doctor when stopping this medication. Stopping too quickly may result in symptoms of withdrawal, and it's advisable to gradually reduce your dosing over a four week period. Longer periods are required for individuals who happen to experience withdrawal symptoms. Are there any side effects? The majority of those taking sertraline will not experience any side effects. However, some may experience worsening of their depression or anxiety when initiating the medication, but this should improve as you continue your treatment. For those who do experience side effects, the most commonly reported are dry mouth, nausea, diarrhea, sensation of feeling weak, drowsy, dizzy, and even having headaches. Some may experience insomnia, particularly if they take their medications at night, and sexual dysfunction. Rare, but concerning side effects can occur. If they do so, please seek immediate medical assessment. If you have an allergic reaction, develop chest pain or shortness of breath, dizziness, confusion, or loss of consciousness, painful erections that last for more than four hours, experience liver damage, indicated by a yellowing of the skin or your eyes, unstoppable bleeding, including nosebleeds, cuts, bruising, blood in your vomit, sputum, urine, or poo, low salt levels. Signs of a low salt level include confusion, headaches, unsteadiness, weakness, and even seizures. And the most significant one, serotonin syndrome. Too much serotonin in your body can cause confusion, increased agitation, fast heart rate, and muscle twitching. Some experience excessive sweating, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, high temperatures, loss of consciousness, and even seizures. I hope this video has supplied the answers you were looking for. Of course, this video does not provide individual medical advice and is intended for information purposes only. Do not consider this as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Please do not ignore professional medical advice in seeking treatment because of something you've heard here. If you believe you may have a medical emergency, immediately call your doctor or ambulance service. Thank you for watching. See you next time.